Hello my friends and welcome back to my channel. Welcome to a brand new video. I was struggling with what to film today. I really wanted to wear this dress. Mike and I are going out to dinner tonight with my in-laws. So I wanted to film something, although I do realize this top is a little summery and the summer is coming to an end, but I just thought why not like pivot and kind of do a blue outfit appropriate makeup. Now listen, there are no rights and wrongs to makeup. You can wear whatever you want with a blue dress, but I just thought maybe we could do a natural makeup look that would look good for any kind of blue whether it's a light blue a dark blue kind of like cool toned but still a little warm everyday easy makeup this video is very much inspired by the fact that i have been decluttering my makeup my skincare my hair care my closet my bags my shoes my clothes i'm just trying to purge everything so in the spirit of that i have you know found some new found makeup some new found items this necklace actually being one of them my late uncle bought this for me when i was little the pendant and i have this long chain i'm pretty sure mike got me this chain but i was going through my jewelry i'm going through my makeup and because i'm going through everything i'm finding new things i'm kind of like shopping my stash because you know i've been saying this for a long time now but i really want to be a little bit more minimalistic being someone that's always been a maximalist it's hard to come to the realization that minimalism is really what makes me feel at home and at peace with myself like too much stuff makes me feel very anxious i love buying things and i love spending my money but i don't like spending my money when i can't find the things that i buy so i hope that that makes sense but anyway i'm gonna try and not talk too much in this video i've just been wearing this foundation i don't really think that i like foundation but in the spirit of working through my stuff i'm gonna be using this nars sheer glow foundation in vienna now this is like a moussey foundation which i tend to like my foundations a little bit thinner the more thinner that they are the less makeupy they look. So I'm gonna take a bit of this Charlotte Tilbury Collagen Super Fusion Oil. I honestly don't even know if... I don't think you're supposed to put this in with your makeup. I think it's more of like a skincare, but I'm gonna do two drops of this because I did this the other day. I took two pumps of that oil today in hopes that it kind of thins this foundation out. I'm just gonna buff that in and blend that in with this hourglass brush. Now what I like about this foundation is it is kind of skin-like. I just feel like I don't, I look better with less makeup or maybe it's because I'm just not used to wearing foundation anymore. It's been honestly months since I've used foundation, but this month I've just been trying to, again, use the products that I own so that I can make space for new things and not feel so wasteful, you know? I like that this blurs my pores a bit. It is a bit matte, but it is kind of radiant also. And I really didn't use a lot. I will just keep this on my tray in case I need to clean anything up. It feels like makeup on my skin though. And I genuinely think that that's because I'm not used to wearing foundation. It is kind of matte feeling. Like it makes my skin a little tight, but it doesn't look too matte. It has that radiant kind of finish to it, which I like. I don't like it when my skin is too matte because it looks too dull and it looks like one dimensional and really makeupy. This is the concealer that will never die, my Dior Backstage. I'm gonna use this now because as I get paler, this leans a little bit too peachy for me. So while I still have a tan, I wanna try and finish it. Although I'm not gonna lie, I just feel like this is a never ending concealer, which I guess you could say for the price, it's nice because it's Dior, it's a bit pricey, you know? Dior makes really good concealers. The Dior Backstage is nice and I also love the Forever Skin. I'm just ready to be done with it and I can't believe how long I've had it, honestly. But again, depending on who you are, that could be a good thing. You know what it is? I bought this drugstore concealer, the L'Oreal True Match. We all saw the commercials for this everywhere. I bought it because the commercials inspired me to buy it and I want to open it, but I'm doing this thing where I'm not opening new product until I finish product. So all in all, that's really why I want to be done with <laughs> I do our backstage concealer. Rare Beauty. This is the bright side bronzer stick and I'm just gonna do a little bit of this. And I'm doing this thing where I only put the bronzer and the contour in the back. I don't put it under my chin anymore. At least I'm trying just to help sculpt the face a wee bit. Rare Beauty blush. Why do I swallow? <laughs> brush. I'm gonna pat this into my skin. I love this. I've talked about this so many times, but this does a really good top. This does, I'm really having trouble speaking. This blends out in two seconds, okay? I don't even need to speak. You could just watch and see. I love the fall. I, I Don't get me wrong. I'm ready for the pumpkins. I'm ready for the ghosts. I'm ready for Halloween. It's my favorite holiday. Halloween gives me like all the feels, 
but I'm not ready to let go of this sun-kissed tan that I have. I don't want to turn into a ghost. I just, I want to enjoy the ghosts that are Halloween. I, I don't want to be one. I know it's not gonna last. And you could say, like honestly, I think that this winter I'm gonna get more into self-tanning, like fake tanning at home, like with a mousse, because I used to be so into it and then I just got lazy. And last winter, I kind of just let my white skin fly. And don't get me wrong, like a porcelain doll, it's nice, you know, I'm not knocking it, but I just feel like I look so much healthier with a little bit of color. She's eating her veggies, she's getting all of her fiber, and she's drinking all of her water. Which, speaking of, my glass matches my outfit. Do I need to tell you, like, how much I love blue? God, I love blue. Cream blush. For cream blush. It's so hard for me to say brush and blush. For cream blush, I would say that these are probably my two favorites when I'm wearing blue. So this is Merit in the shade Stockholm. It's just your beautiful, like look at that. How could that not look stunning, gorgeous, beautiful on my face with this dress? And then this is another formula that I really like. This is in Rose Quartz, also pretty with blue. Why don't we do both? We'll do my technique that I've been really enjoying. So I'm gonna take Rose Quartz, this is by OG, and I'm gonna pick it up with my blush brush. And I'm gonna stamp this in the back of my cheek. Do an ombre effect with my blush. So I like to put a darker blush in the back, frame my cheek, you see? Ooh, girl, that's a good cheek. So I just keep it here in this little C. See? Very nice. And it's in the back of my face, so it's really adding to that sculpt. You know what I'm saying? I know you know what I'm saying. Now I'll do it on this side too, because I don't want to mix the colors too, too much, because I am going to use the same brush. So I don't like to dirty a bunch of brushes. What's ever left over on the brush, brush, the blush that's left over on the brush. And I'll just put it on the bridge of my nose. Lighter blush. I'm going to pat it here, and I'm going to put it on the cheek. So like your quintessential when I smile apple of my cheek. Can you see? I'll do it on this side too. And I just, there's something about this. It kind of makes it all look a little cohesive, like more cohesive, but really nice. Like again, I don't know. And you can't really see. It doesn't look like I'm wearing two different blushes, but the darker ones in the back and then the lighter ones in the front. So when I go to the side, there you go. When I look to the front, it's kind of like chiseled in the back and then a nice pop of pink in the front. And then I'm gonna take what's ever left over, put it on the bridge of my nose. And then sometimes I like to do a W, so I'll just take what's ever left over and kind of go like that to make it more blendy and it looks a little bit more sun-kissed. And then I will go ahead and use powder, which I'm going to use my Givenchy. People call it Prism Lieb. I've always called it Libre. Let me know, how am I supposed to say this down below? I have no idea, but I'm just gonna continue to call it what I call it. And I'm gonna take a smaller concealer brush and just take any of the creases out. Givenchy Prism Libre with a puff and just powder underneath my eyes. My brows kind of are close together, but I just feel like it flatters my face more. I don't know, it's just how I like my brows. But also I have kind of like a fur, is it furrowed? I don't know, a furrowed brow where my brow kind of looks a little heavy. I take my brush and I lift the concealer just to make sure it's like blended. Then I'm gonna take a little bit of the white powder that's in here because this is a quad, it has all different colors. And I like to just can you see where I just added that? Just right there. Just to like lift the front of my brow. I don't know if you can see, but that instantly lifts my brow and makes it less like it's hanging over my eye. Let me know if you can see down below in the comments. We all know how I feel. I'm always asking, can you see the difference? My style of makeup videos is always like showing you one thing on one side, saying like, or asking, can you see? And then, you know, sometimes when you guys don't get back to me, it's like, should I just keep going on? Or do we like enjoy the highlighting of the fact that it looks different. I don't know, but let me know. I'm here to serve you, also to have fun. I really enjoy filming and making content, but really I'm here to give you guys what it is you wanna see. And if no one says anything, then I will just continue on with how I enjoy doing things. I'm putting a little bit of powder in here because I don't like it when this gets shiny. It looks like I'm sweaty, but that kind of helps to break up the blush and make it look a little bit more natural. <laughs> Do you see the difference between this side and this side, oh, I always hit myself in my nose. But can you see how this is shiny and the blush just kind of looks a little messy and on this side, it is more refined and put together. Do the same thing on the other side and I'm gonna add a little bit more powder to the top of my lid, my makeup lid and my eyelid. And then I do like to put 
a little bit on the center of my forehead just to alleviate or like soften the fine lines that I have on my forehead. Spray because I'm hot. Whoa. All right, I needed a little bit of fan time. So I just, I filled in my brows. To fill in my brows, I used my Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow in medium brown. I love this. This is my favorite way to fill in my brows. And then just to further perfect them a little bit, I used the Fine Point Brow Pencil by Honeybee Gardens, and I like the color Walnut. Now, they look okay. Are they perfect? No, but I've kind of given up on perfection of the brows because they're just distant cousins, and it is what it is. But... I'm just gonna like clean them up a little bit along the edges with the spoolie. And then I'm gonna grab my concealer brush. I don't know, this is just a habit. I honestly don't even know if this does anything, but I just like to go around just to clean up and kind of like further help to shape them just a little bit. Gel, I just, I wanna floof them up a little bit. So I'm gonna take my e.l.f. Clear Brow, Brow and Lash Gel. One side is for brows, I'm gonna take that side. The other side is for lashes. I feel like this would be really good for those of you who maybe go to the gym and like to wear a little bit of makeup. I bought this <laughs> to bring to yoga, um, but then the summer happened and I like stopped going to yoga class. So maybe I can report back on that topic in September and October but those are the brows big bushy bold but still kind of natural a little bit more demure than they used to be like I'm, i watched some old videos back and my god my brows ate like half my forehead it was a vibe but it's just not my vibe anymore i don't really wear a lot of eyeshadow we all know this but i was dipping around in some things i found some items like this from Basic Beauty that I used to wear all the time. This is a contour palette. I think I'm gonna like dabble between a couple things here. I also found this, which is really pretty, some blue. Maybe we'll do like a dusting of a shimmer in the center of our eye. That color could honestly be really pretty. This is a blush palette that is from Pat McGrath. I received this a really long time ago. I never used it. I kind of like this color and I think it would look really nice as an eyeshadow. Makeup has no rules, as I said in the beginning of this video. Take a fluffy brush, my Scott Barnes 62. This fluffy guy right here, just a tapered fluffy brush. Is there a film on this? Yes, I was like, why am I so blurry? I thought that was going to be more ASMR-y than it was. Oh, that's pretty. Yeah, that's a pretty color. It's kind Oh my God, guys. It's like the perfect crease shade for me. And I feel like it goes really well with this dress. It's a little pinky, but also peachy. Oh, that's freaking stunning. Wow, this is something that I have always done. If you are someone that receives PR from companies or if you're someone where you bought maybe like an eyeshadow palette or I don't know, like sometimes, you know what it is with me? I have very fair skin and a lot of highlights don't look good on my skin. Again, I'm just keeping this to the crease and underneath. A lot of highlights don't look good on my skin. I find that they can either lean too gray or they can lean a bit too dark. Like I don't like when a highlight sits on my face and you can see a straight. I'm also someone that doesn't really like highlighters, but I do like to put highlighter on my lids and use it as an eyeshadow. So, you know, looking at this, this is not a blush palette that I would normally gravitate towards, but this is a beautiful eyeshadow palette. So if you're someone where maybe you bought the wrong shade, of say bronzer or something, and you can't return it, you know, always try to return it, but if you can't return it, try it on a different section of your face. Like use a bronzer as an eyeshadow, a blush as an eyeshadow. And now I'm just gonna put it all over my lid, just like messily. Look at that, that's so pretty. The moral of the story is that you can use things for multiple things. You don't need to just use blush as a blush. You can use it for however you see fit. Now, that was really nice. I really enjoyed that. Ooh, God, that's a goodie. So I'm gonna put this in my vanity so that I use it a bit more. I also found this eyeshadow palette that I bought a really long time ago from BH Cosmetics. Really, like, look at these colors. Like, look at these blues. Whoa. Whoa. I think I wanna add a bit more into the crease, maybe like a little bit more warmth. I'm gonna take this color right here, Canyon, which is just like kind of a neutral toned eyeshadow. And I'm actually gonna use this for eyeshadow. And I'm gonna pat it on the outer part of my eye like this. And then I'm just gonna brush it along the lid. Concentrate on the outer part of my eye right there. Can you see the difference between the two? You know I love to ask this question, but a little bit more dimension and it kind of lifts the eye a little bit more. That's a pretty color too. 
I just feel like eyeshadows are very out. I haven't really been using eyeshadows for quite a long time now. I would say I've been off the eyeshadow train since COVID, but I just feel like eyeshadow, like no one's really using eyeshadows anymore, which is why I think it's great to not invest in an eyeshadow palette because my God, I have so many eyeshadow palettes in this drawer. I just feel like you can use blush as shadow. You can use highlighter as shadow. I'm just gonna take a clean fluffy brush, make it look even less like I'm wearing eyeshadow. Like I kind of just wanna buff out the edges and make it really blendy. No one's coming up to me and saying like, oh, I love your eyeshadow. I don't want it to be like so obvious that I'm wearing makeup, but we're gonna make it a little bit more obvious today. Now, I think I wanna take one of these, maybe like, I don't know, maybe this color, like that's really pretty and it matches, <gasps> it matches my dress. Pat it in the center of my eye like this and I'm gonna heavily blend it a bit on here too, just to take a little bit more off my finger because I don't want it to be too blue. That's a really pretty color. You can do this sort of eye framing with any kind of shadow. So I know we are leaning away towards the summer, away towards the spring, which is sad because this is a really nice palette and I should have brought it out a bit earlier, but you can do this sort of framing where you put it in the crease, you put it underneath and you add a little bit of a darker shade to the outer corner, bring it a little bit underneath and then you just put any kind of shimmer. You can do a champagne shimmer for an everyday makeup look. You could do like this shade, just like something a little bit more demure. I gotta stop saying that. It's like really driving me crazy. Actually, let's take that because it's a nice pink and I'm gonna like stamp it towards the center of my eye, just like that. Oh, that's pretty, yeah. Oh, that's pretty, yeah. And now I like to take it on this finger now too, although I'm not left-handed, but I just find like getting the same angle is key to having your eyes match. What do we think? That's really, Freaking pretty. Looking at this, I kind of feel like I need a little bit more blue on this side. So I just picked up a little bit more. I'm gonna pick up a little bit more here. And I think I just need a little bit, something a little bit darker on the outer edge just to help really support the shimmer on the inside. Little brush like this, another small blending brush. Let's hop into this palette, this contour palette. I know I'm all over the place, but you can find things that are similar. I'm gonna take this darker shade right here, pat this right here. Yeah, I just feel like that helps to kind of like frame the eye a little bit more and make it look a little bit more cohesive. Here we go. I'm gonna take this Anastasia Beverly Hills highlighter. I don't use this as a highlight on my face, like on my cheek, but I use it elsewhere. So I'm going to find my brush. I'm like so particular with certain things. I feel like my age is like, I feel like, you know, she's getting to be an older lady because I'm so particular about things. Like I'm like, no, I need to use my ABH highlighter with this charcoal infused shadow brush for whatever reason, I don't know. Do you know how many eyeshadow brushes I have? I have a lot. Do I need to use this? Absolutely not. But I like to add a little bit to the inner corner of my eye. Can you see how that made my eye look even more awake? Can you see the difference? That's what we should like slogan everything. I'm going to come, I'm going to come out with merch that says, can you see the difference? Because my God, I say it like 10 times in one video. I like to add it underneath my brow as well, just like right here. So a pop of like brow sparkle. It helps to lift the brows so again, they don't look so heavy. A little bit here, just cause that part of my nose sits back. A little bit on the Cupid's bow and a little bit on, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I had blue eyeshadow on that finger, damn it. I think we have to say goodbye to these officially because I wore this yesterday when I did my fall makeup tutorial and my God, my eyes were killing me. So rest in peace, rip YSL. I think it's just time to go. It's old. I don't want to get a sty. I don't want to get an eye infection. And then also this Lancome Lash Adult. This is my favorite mascara. I was dabbling between this one and this one. And so now I just think I need to move on to a new one. How exciting. Let's pick a mascara because if you watched my declutter video, my God, she has a lot of mascaras. And I really wanna try this, Hourglass Unlocked. It's cute. I love a trial size mascara. I feel bad like throwing this whole thing out because it's expired now. I feel less bad about throwing this out because it's a lot less product. I know you know what I'm saying, but let's investigate this. Okay, chunky. That's a fat little mascara. Okay, yes, I like that kind of wand. I like a plasticky, kind of like tight honeycomb wand. Okay, so that's nice. Let's curl the lashes, throw it on, and see if it's actually nice in terms of 
application. I'm using my Tweezer Man eyelash curler. Oh, and you know what? I do, I wanna use a little bit of eyeliner. Let's use Teddy, because I was talking a lot of smack about Teddy yesterday in my video. Teddy by MAC. I'm just gonna line my waterline underneath, and you know what? Let's do a little bit above, and I'm gonna use this because I like Teddy. It has a little bit of a shine to it. It's a little sheeny, so I feel like it will just kind of blend in really beautifully with the shadow on my lash, on my lid. What am I saying? Dear God, she can't ever speak, but can you see the difference <laughs> between this one already? It just looks a little bit more defined, brings a little bit more definition to the eye and kind of draws your eye to my eye even more. And I really like to get in this inner corner right here. I don't know why. I'm just gonna wiggle into the waterline, but I don't wing it out. I don't really, I don't do the most. I'm really not doing much of anything, but can you see the difference? It's just, I think it makes such a big difference, just a little line. And it doesn't, and I just go back and forth. It doesn't need to be perfect. It doesn't need to be straight. And like, look at this, I'm not left-handed. I just go in strokes and honestly hope for the best. Let's give this bad boy a shot. This is unlocked in ultra black. This is exciting. I have high hopes for this. I'm such a mascara snot. Like I like a mascara that gives a wispy effect. I don't like too much volume. I find that again, I have smaller eyes. I have a smaller face. So like when things are too, if it's like a spidery lash, it just makes my eye look so much smaller. And I don't like that. This is not bad. I would say off the bat, my Lancome Lashy Doll is better. And I only like to apply it to the top lashes. I don't apply it to the lower lash line. Can we see the difference? What do we think? Do we like this mascara? It's a little chunky in the roots. I wish it was a little bit wispier, but again, it's not the worst I've ever tried. I realize I didn't put bronzer on, but I don't think I want to put bronzer on today. I'm just letting my skin do the talking. My skin's in a really good spot. And like I said, I have a bit of a tan. I just kind of want to embrace the natural glow, but you guys know I would normally put bronzer on the outskirts of my face. Honestly, you know what? Now that I'm looking at it, I feel like it might look a little bit better. So I'm going to take my NARS Laguna bronzer. All right, let's just one, two, three, let's go really quick. Cause now I'm looking at it. I'm like, this could make it a bit more cohesive. So I'm just going to take my NARS Laguna and we'll do one side, you know, you know the drill, you know how we do, and show you the difference. So look at that. One, one, two, one, two seconds, one, two punch and done. Just feel like it, it looks more natural and it looks more like pulled together than this side. So, you know, I was trying to convince myself and you guys that maybe the bronzer wasn't a good idea, but when in doubt, like honestly, Nars Laguna, whoa, so freaking good. All right, now that that's done, Let's throw the other earring on. Now again, inspired by my declutter, my jewelry video. I did a jewelry collection video. If you missed it, I will link it above and as well as down below. Um, but I bought these on Amazon. They're Bottega dupes. I talked about how I never wear them. I just, I feel like they look good with blue. I just feel like those look very pretty with this color dress, do we not agree? Blue and silver, so nice. All right, let's move on to the lips quickly. I love a neutral brown when wearing blue, or you know, if you're doing your makeup like we did today, I mean, um, we're wearing a lot of light pinks, so I say we, um, but really me, but you know, I hope you know that I feel like we're always in this together. So I'm gonna use this drugstore. This is ColourPop Lippy in the shade Ashton. If you don't feel like going out and buying a new lip liner, you could also use your brow pencil. Hot tip, hot take from me to you. Just something that gives you a little bit of a contour. You guys know, if you've been watching my channel, I use my Gucci brow pencil. I literally leave this with my lip liners because I don't use this as a brow product. My brow products are here, okay? My lip liners are here and this lives with the lip liners. It's just like the perfect contour shade. You know me, it's really hard for me to pick any kind of lip. So I kind of picked a variety for us and I just thought of one, another one that we could use. Honestly, I have so many like really pretty light pink lipsticks. My vibe recently is a bit more juicy. I like a juicy lip. The most hydrating one in this little roundup that I pulled for us is the CoverGirl in Life is Pink. Mm. That is pretty. If we want a more like every day, I don't recommend buying this because you don't get a lot of color or a lot of product, I should say. But this is so pretty. This is the Pat McGrath in Nude Venus. And it like kind of has that light pink peachy. Let me swatch these for you. What am I doing? I'm so out of my element, what's happening? This is the CoverGirl one. Not as scary as it is in the tube. This is more of a sheer. Look at that, so pretty. Good for all year round. 
Oh my god, it's stunning. I used to be such a MAC lip girly. I'm not really that big into MAC anymore, but I do like this color. This is Daddy's Girl. Again, a really, really pretty pink. This is their Love Me lipstick. A great staple in anyone's lip collection. Brune Paul by Laura Mercier. Kind of has that warm peachy tone to it. I feel like this one might be the winner so far, but such a good color. And then if we want to be a little bit more vibey, moody, this is Ila Mosqua in Cosmic. I don't wear this shade a lot, but it really reminds me of NARS Anita. I'm thinking the one I just did or... Oh, I don't know. Let's go with this because I honestly don't really wear this. So I'm gonna do... Yeah, that's a good color. That's a really good color. Ooh, I like that lip combo. And this is the finished makeup look. I'm not gonna lie to you, I love this dress, but this, like, the mechanism in the back that makes the strap tighter and looser is broken on the one side, so I keep looking very lopsided. Mike's gonna have to be on strap patrol while we are at dinner. But this is the finished makeup look. Do be sure to let me know. What is your favorite color to wear? Mine has really become blue. I'm just a blue girly. It just it gives me good vibes. I, it's very calming. So I hope that this maybe taught you how to incorporate some makeup into your blue wardrobe, just kind of like to enhance it. There's not a lot of blue on me. It's subtle, it's very everyday, very natural, but I feel like the makeup really enhances this shade. I will of course show you the outfit, so let's go ahead and show you that right now. I have to say I love this dress, and I love this dress, and it's making me sad that the summer's over because I've been really enjoying color this summer, but look at this, it's so cute. And then look at the back. It's so cute, is it not? And then I paired it with this bag because it's like a cool toned nude, you know? I just feel like you gotta play around with the undertones of it all. So that's why, you know, when you talk about blue, this makeup works well with blues, any kind of blue, because it matches the sort of like cool undertone to it. So I picked this bag. And then let me show you the shoes, which, oh God, I don't even know if I can show you. I love them. Oh my god, they're so good. I've had these forever. But yeah, guys, I had a wonderful time as always. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up down below. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet. I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for hanging out with me, and I hope to see you in my next one. Bye, guys. Mwah.